Hey everyone, how's it going? So ever since they introduced the new Godzilla vs. Kong movie, everyone is trying to figure out who is going to be the next villain in there. Everyone thinks it might be some sort of Kong species or something like that. Well, from all the pictures I've seen, I put together a video on what the new kaiju is going to look like. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the new kaiju titan from the Godzilla vs. Kong new movie coming out. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our new kaiju, let's begin with the face. And we're gonna start with the eyes up here. So I'm gonna start right here and I wanna begin by making a line that's just going to come down and we're gonna curve it up. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We're just gonna go down and we're gonna curve it up. I'm gonna make a little line that's gonna come down and up on each side for the actual eyes. Next, we're going to bring a line that's going to come up and then down. Do the same thing. We're going to come up and then just kind of bring it over. Bring a little line that's just going to come down here on each side. Then I'm just going to bring this in and kind of color it in. I'm going to curve this around on each side. And I'll make a couple little curve lines right here. I want to make a couple little lines underneath the eyes right here. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come out and then in on each side. So we're just going to go out and then bring it in. I'm going to bring this line down on each side. And we're going to bring this line across here for the mouth. Do another little line across the bottom. Next, we're going to bring this line down on each side. I'm going to make some little points across here, too. Make a few more little lines right here. Next, I'm gonna make a couple little points that come up. And then we're gonna bring this line across here for the top of the head in like a curve. Now starting here, I'm gonna make some little points that just come down and then in. We'll do the same thing here, just kind of bring them down and in. Now for the ears, I'm going to bring this line up and down. Same thing here, we're just going to bring this up and then down. And we'll add a little curved line on each side for some detail on the inside. Next, I'm going to bring this line down with some points. And we're going to bring this up and in. Then I'm going to make some little lines that are coming up here. Now, to start off with the body, I'm going to bring this line down on each side, kind of form where the shoulders would be. And then I'm going to kind of curve this around here, kind of shape them out. I'm going to bring a line that's going to come down and in for the chest on each side. So we're just going to bring this down and then in. Then I'm going to curve this in again, kind of show where maybe like the ribs would be. This almost kind of reminds me of Kong, but a little bit slimmer. Almost kind of more of like an orangutan style. Then I'm going to bring this down. Next, we're going to come out a little bit. I'm going to bring this down, and then we're going to bring this in here. So we're going to bring this down, kind of where the knee would be, then we're going to bring it in. 
Now I'm going to make the feet right here. So I'm going to begin by making a line that's going to come out. It's going to curve around and up. We'll do another one here. We'll do one here. And then one more right there. I'm going to make this one a little bit longer as I come out. So do the same thing here. We're going to come out and in. We'll do one here, one here, one right there. And then we're going to make this one a little bit longer. It goes out and then in. Next, I'm going to bring this line up and in on each side. Then I'm going to bring this line up to here. Then we're just going to draw a little line across. Now, he's going to have really long arms, so we're going to come out and in on each side. Then I'm going to bring this down even farther. Then I'm going to bring the line going to come down and up just a little bit. And we're going to make the fingers. So we're going to make another one here, one here, and then one more right here. We're going to bring this up. We're going to curve this around. I'm going to bring this up and in a few times like that. Now I'll do the same thing. We're going to come down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Curve this around into here. And then we're just going to curve this in and out a few times. I'm going to make some little kind of pointed lines just to make it look like there's a lot of fur and stuff on here. So I'm going to bring this up to about here. We'll do the same thing. We're just going to make all these little kind of pointed lines, kind of following the shape of the arm and bring them right up to here. Then we're going to make some lines that just come down here for some more, more fur. Then we're going to make some more fur on here. And then we're going to do the same thing here, just to kind of show some different areas of fur. And we'll do it right across the top of the feet, too. Now, here's our basic shape. Now we want to come in here and add some of the different details. So right here on the chest and everything, I'm going to make a couple lines and just kind of put some more little curved lines on there for some details. Make a couple lines up here just to kind of show where like some of those muscles and things are going to be. I'm going to add some of these long kind of extra lines in here just to add some more fur texture. I'll do that also on the beard too and on the sides of the face. We'll do it in some different spots, kind of right along here. Just want these different lengths and everything. We're going to put some out here, too. We're going to do some different ones right around here. And I'll put just a few other little lines right around here, too, as well. I'm going to make some little curved lines, kind of where the toenails would be. Then I'm going to do some little curved lines on here as well, just to give these feet a little bit of detail. Let's do 
little details on the face. And there you go, there is your drawing of the new Ape Titan for the new upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.